Hey, what's happening, everybody? <clears throat> um, I wasn't gonna do another video until everything was ready in here, but um, kind of had some things in my mind and thought, eh, why not make a video? So, um, first things first. Um, since I started finding everybody and everything, um kind of looking around and watching other people's videos and subscribing to other people's uh, channels. Um, all of a sudden, my views on my videos have shot up, which is cool. And um, I went from, I know, it went from 8 to 14 viewers. Uh, but no, that's it's pretty cool. Um, or uh, subscribers, I'm sorry. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so thank you to everybody that's actually watching my videos, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. No, I'm kidding. But no, it's it's cool that to know that people are actually watching my videos and you know doing like I'm doing when I'm sitting and smoking a pipe by myself. Watch a video of somebody else smoking a pipe. Listen to what they got to say. Pretty cool. One of the things I really like about the community. So, um, right now I am rocking some Captain Black Royal. It's not the first time I've had this. I've had it several times. I like it. It's a good one. Uh, for you other newbie pipe smokers, check it out. Nice, mellow, easy to smoke flavor really cool it's just black and golden cavendish and you know each those both have like their own very distinct flavor and they both come through very clearly and this is actually the pipe tobacco that i remember my dad smoking all the time when i was a kid and it's, it's good stuff um and i really only packed it just to do this video and actually have a pipe going so i just finished a bowl of um cornell and deal haunted workshop Mm. Thank you, Matches, for turning me on to that stuff, because, uh, oh, is it good. Oh, I love me some Perique and some Burley, and that, boy, that stuff is good. It is, it is good stuff. Um, also, I am, got some seasonal blue moon here, summer honey wheat, <clears throat> which, by the way, I drank this earlier with some, uh, Peter Stockaby's Luxury Navy Flake. And let me tell you, this and Navy Flake, Luxury Navy Flake, it just goes together really well. It was a really good pairing. This has got that, um, I think it said, oh yeah, clover honey. Crafted with wheat and clover honey. And it goes really, really well with the Luxury Navy Flake. It's got that fruity Virginia flavor. So... Good combination. Um, so, as promised, sitting here drinking a beer. But, I said I would tell the story of why I don't drink hard alcohol, which <clears throat> I've been thinking about giving um, scotch a try. Um, I drank some when I was a kid. Um, teenager. Wait, no, not when I was a teenager. Um, uh, and I used to mix it into iced tea, and it was, I liked it that way, but I've been thinking about giving it a shot. Um, but specifically tequila. Why I won't drink tequila anymore. Um, <laughs> this is the story. Um, when I drink tequila, um, normally... I'm a fairly mm, quiet, maybe soft-spoken. How's that? I, I might talk a lot, but I speak quietly, softly, pretty laid back. Um, kind of an introvert. When I drink tequila, <clears throat> I become the friggin' Tasmanian devil. I become the life of the party, and... I, you know, either like, no, everybody thinks when they're drunk that they're the life of the party. No, when I drink tequila, I get crazy, and I am apparently a lot of fun. 
I could not tell you that for sure. Um, and that will make more sense here in a few seconds. The last time I got drunk on tequila, um, my former landlord, future brother-in-law, um, and music associate, Brian and I, and, uh, guitar player from At Dawn We Burn, Joe, um, At, At Dawn We Burn was the heavy metal band that I was in, Joe and I have been in several music projects together, but anyway, we were at a gentleman's club in, a, uh, Lafayette, Indiana, and, um, we were drinking all night, having a good old time, and towards the end of the night, we found out they had a special on shots of Orange Patron. Now, Brian and I are pretty much the same way when it comes to tequila. We're usually pretty well reserved until we start drinking tequila, and then we get crazy. So, we start doing shots of Orange Patron. Um, we ended up closing the place down. It, closing time came. They threw on the lights. And, um, apparently, uh, because I have no memory of this, and this is why I quit drinking tequila, is because I, I had a couple of different incidents where things happened and I did not remember them. People were telling me about them, and I'm like, what are you talking about? This is one of those moments. Um, so they threw on the lights, said, all right, closing time, and apparently, I jumped up said, no, the party's not over, and I ran over and jumped up on the stripper stage and started river dancing. Now, I don't know how to river dance, but apparently that's what it looked like. Um, and so, the next day, Brian comes over to the house, and, you know, I'm hair of the dog in it, you know, drinking a beer, sobering up, or killing my hangover anyway, and he's like, dude... You were insane last night. Like, oh, what? what? Uh, it's, it's a normal night. He's like, no, dude, you were crazy. He's like, the end of the night came. You jumped up on the stripper stage and started river dancing. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Joe shows up for rehearsal. He's like, dude, you were river dancing on the stripper stage last night. What? No. Yeah, dude. No, I don't remember that. And they're like, yeah, you did. Dude, did we get bounced? They're like, no, the girls were all off the floor. The bouncers thought it was hysterical. They were laughing. I was like, shit. I got that drunk? They were like, yeah, you got that drunk. Like, okay, you know what? No more tequila for Jake. No. No, no, no. Not doing it. When I start doing crazy stuff like that and I don't remember it, it's time to stop. So... That is why I do not drink tequila anymore. So if you ever hang out with me, please do not try and get me to drink tequila. Um, I know it sounds like fun, but it's not fun for me. And I have a family now and responsibilities. So, yeah, that I am, no. But I am going to try some scotch here soon. I, um, a lot of people talk about it going really good with the tobacco, so I'm going to give it a shot. I've uh, actually had whiskey and cigars one Christmas with a uncle of mine who's a big cigar smoker, so, um, I'm not, but I'm not much on bourbon. I'm never been my thing, so, um, so that's it for now. Um, so thank you again to everybody that's been watching my videos, especially over the past couple of days, my, my views have jumped up. And I've gained, like, at least six subscribers, so that's really cool. Um, thanks again to Matches for repeatedly mentioning Haunted Bookshop. Um, I picked them up in bulk, and well worth it. Well, well worth it. I, I'm going to have to get a tin to decorate the smoking lounge with. Um, so, And for, once again, you other newbie smokers that haven't tried it yet, Captain Black Royal. Nice mellow smoke, you know, strictly the tobacco flavor of those tobaccos. Uh, 
black and golden Cavendish. You know, it's no, no fruit, no vanilla, no whatever. Really good. And again, Blue Moon Honey Wheat. If you have any Peter Sockabee's Luxury Flake, grab some of this, pack you some Luxury Flake and put them together because it's a good combination. So, until next time, take her easy.